exciting. I love that song, too. I remember growing up hearing that song. Turn, turn, turn. And it's really a good thing. Just think about it. Turn, turn, turn. It's our turn. And it's time. Time to awaken. Because today we're talking about awakening. Are you ready to awaken? Yeah. Isn't it a wonderful thing to wake up? How many of us this morning woke up from slumber and realized we're actually awake and not sleeping anymore? Anybody else have that experience? Yeah. And that was an interesting thing, wasn't it? Some of us said, I want to go back to sleep. But many of us are saying, oh, I'm glad that was over. Now I'm into my real life. I'm going to throw this out there for you. What if our normal daily routine that we go through every day was still part of that dream? We're still partially asleep, coming on autopilot. Would we be willing in that moment to start waking up, to start noticing in our world, in our life, that we have a choice and that we are responsible for the greatness that shows up? What would that do for us? Would we want to participate in that say, yes, I want to take part in this. I want to wake up and actually be involved in growing and evolving my life? Or would we want to go back to sleep? Many of us would because it's a scary thing to actually be responsible and take the creative force that was gifted to us, to our hearts, to grow and do something. I'm just suggesting today this is our turn to wake up. Our turn to look at what we've been doing and decide now what's valuable for us. What do we really, really want within our being? Are we willing to wake up? There's a thing I want to share that if we start to notice things, see, noticing is an important thing because it gives us at that moment an opportunity to understand that I have a choice at that time. Anybody ever had that experience where they're just doing their normal routine all of a sudden they notice that, wow, I can do something different at this moment? They just noticed. It wasn't anything big, but they noticed that there is an opportunity to choose differently. A choice point, you might call it. That I can actually do something different. Well, I'm just suggesting that's a point of beginning to wake up. To notice that we can feel within ourselves an authentic being that says, I can do something different today. That's the beginning of waking up. I'm just suggesting that we've never really been asleep except we put ourselves into automatic pilot that we forgot how to be and feel awake. And if we begin to just feel awake inside, we're going to start noticing a lot of things. We're going to start noticing the love that's all around us and it moves through us. We're going to start noticing how the world flows in such a way that it brings an elegance into our life and brings the creation that we were gifted with. We're going to notice also that as we begin to notice that we're awake, we're going to start seeing how every thought that we think matters in our world. Every feeling that we have matters for our manifestation to what shows up. Everything that we do affects everything else. But if we're asleep, we probably wouldn't even notice. What do you think about that? How much do we really notice when we're just going through our day on normal autopilot? Do we notice anything different? Do we even take the time to notice the beauty that resides right within us? To realize that if I just decide to see the world as beautiful, it becomes that? If I just decide to love a little bit more my world, I start to feel it back. What we give out, we get back, right? Well, I'm just suggesting that that's more real than just a thought. If we begin to feel it in here and give it out, and just notice in that next moment what starts showing up. Start noticing what we feel inside because we are gifting it away. There's a grace that it permeates all of us all the time. It's not that it's not there ever. It's that it's always there, always. And if we begin to notice that, that it's there, in that moment, that distinction that we notice, that's our point of power. That's our point of transformation. Because until we noticed, we weren't consciously awake to make any distinction about much of anything. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. But when we start to notice things, and we're aware of that noticing, we've just moved into that place of power. Our divine soul has stepped up and said, hey, take a look. 
What do you want to do here? And if we follow that a step further, find that place in our heart. Use it as guidance. We've all heard that before, haven't we? Yeah, follow your heart. You know, it's where bliss is. I'm just suggesting it's true. You can decide for yourself. But if you follow your heart, begin to notice what's happening. And follow it and go through that little place that we have. Because I know for me, it can be really scary. Anybody else had that, that feeling of being scared when they're doing something that heart is telling them to do and we're going, oh my gosh, this is so different. What am I going to do next? It's kind of scary, isn't it? I'm just suggesting if we follow it, we find out that that's the gift. That's the doorway to finding what really resides in our heart. How much love that we can really have the capacity to hold and give away. Because sometimes we have to open that up so we can feel again. And when we feel again, we begin to feel compassion. We begin to feel other people. We begin to feel lots of things in our world. And that can be a lot different. But it's our nature to do so. We've just gone to sleep for a time. But now it's our turn. Thank you for that song, by the way. It's our turn to open and awaken. It's much like when we wake up from that dream, we know we woke up from it. Imagine now if we take that a step further and we realize where we've been for a while. It's just another level of the dream. And now we're beginning to wake up. What would you like to wake up to? Because now we have a choice. This has been a choice point. What would you like in your life? What do you want to fill your heart with? What do you want to fill your mind with? What do you want to think and feel and become in your embodiment of your soul with? We do have a choice. We do it every single day. And sometimes we just choose not to think. Sometimes we choose not to feel. I did that for a lot of years. I'm sure we all have different experiences like that. And if not, we know somebody like that. And it's perfect. The magical thing is we're on our own journey. We all have similarities. We all have this spirit and this elegance within us. But we're on our own individual journey. But we're not separate. We're on an individual journey because we get to choose what to do with it, how to express it, and how to feel within us. And how deeply we want to feel inside of us. Everybody else around us is on their journey, but they're still doing the same things. They have the same kinds of choices. They get to decide what they want. They get to feel what they want to feel. And they get to come alive when they want to come alive. Isn't that great that we all get to do that? But the other part of it is we're all connected. And we can help each other in our journeys. We can become awake and see and feel and notice that each and every one of us in this room and each and every one of us outside of this room are connected. And I would suggest that we're connected to the heart. This place where we move into this, this higher vibrational essence that we are, this resonance that we create because of that, is the attractive force that pulls us all together. Imagine with me for a moment. Just imagine, deeply inside of you, just for a moment, that if you could awaken to live the life that you want to live, Really live it and feel it from the inside out. What would that be for you? What would it feel like? What would it begin to look like? What would your next moment begin to unfold like? If we really wanted to live that. Kind of an interesting thought, isn't it? Were you allowing yourself to begin to feel it inside just that little bit? Because that's the key. Can we let it inside? I believe we can. I believe we do it all the time. But most of us, if you're like me for a long time, you only do it in little increments. And then we get scared and say, oh, not right now. I do it later when I'm something else. Or when everything is just right. Or when the time and we are ready. But readiness is already here. We're already ready. Are we going to let it in, what we've been readying ourselves for? There's magic in the air. There's magic inside of us. Can you feel it? We can refuse to feel it if we want. That's perfectly okay. So I would ask you in that case, what are you feeling? 
And are you enjoying it? If I believe joy is an essential part of our nature, it's not separate from who we are, it's the thing that allows us to grow and evolve. It propels us into things that we normally might not go into. It moves us into growth in such a way that allows our spirit to become complete, full, and magnificent. Because I know we truly are all that, all the time. But our experience of it can be really small compared to that. I'm suggesting here for a moment, if we just allow ourselves to awaken a little bit more, and to notice that we are grander than we have thought before, and how we can think about how we can be the magnificence that we are. What would we have to do to be that? Not the magnificence that anybody else is. But the magnificence that we are within our own being. Our own soul. Can we allow ourselves to go stand right in front of the mirror. And look at the reflection. And say, I am miraculous. An interesting thought, isn't it? If you're like me for a long time, I'd cringe at that. Oh my gosh. I don't want to look at myself in the mirror and think I'm miraculous. Well, the truth of it is, the whole life outside of us is a mirror. And it's reflecting back to us everything that we have inside, our personality, our thoughts, our feelings, everything. So when we look at our outer world, do we like what we see? Do we like what we feel? We are powerful beyond measure. But yet we try to measure how small we are in comparison to the world around us. We think we can't do anything about it. I believe we can. I believe we all have a desire to do so. But how strong is our desire? Will it allow us to be authentic within ourselves and stand up? And just be who we choose to be. And if we don't really know what to do with that, can we at least allow ourselves to learn how to be who we are. Let it be a learning process. Let life teach us instead of frightening us. Because that's the essence of what life is about. To teach us about who we are so we know who we are in the depths of our being, our soul, and our spirit that abounds everywhere. Are we willing to go there just because we choose to? We have free choice and free will. What if we woke it up to the next level? Instead of just thinking we have free choice and free will, but actually participate in our free choice and free will and let it reign supreme in our being. And not be persuaded by somebody else that may not like what we are or what we do. And it doesn't mean to do anything to harm them because that would probably go against who we are. What it does mean is other people don't know who we are inside. We do. What if we began to know more who we are inside and we began to expand our own being and wake it up to the point we began to affect the other people around us in a more powerful way? We all know what it's like to step in the presence of somebody that's being authentic, don't we? You ever, buddy, you ever done that? You just said, wow, this person's right there. Imagine that we were that person. That we can be authentic with ourselves to the core of our being and step into our life regardless of where we are and be authentic. What kinds of things and experiences will we begin to attract and to give out for others? We all know that when we're in the place with those people, we feel more empowered in ourselves, don't we? I know I do. And it doesn't matter what they're... What they're their way of living is in their life, what work they might do or what they might do. We just know and we feel better when we're with them. Let's turn that around for a moment. What if we were that person? Just being authentically who we are within our heart and soul and just showing up and begin to notice. There's that noticing again. Noticing that we make a difference. Noticing that we affect people in a powerful way we start noticing that I can love and be loved, that I can give out the essence of my soul, and I get back the essence of not just my soul, but the others, because we draw it out of them. Imagine that for a moment. Imagine waking up that next 
level, whatever that might be for you, and noticing the glorious adventure that you are in charge of. We may have been on automatic pilot for the last 20 years. It's today that matters, this moment. Not what we did yesterday. It's our turn, this moment, to look at and decide that this is my moment to be authentically me and awaken to my soul and let it out. Let it fly, let it grow, let it expand. Whatever we choose to do with that, but let us grow and be who we really are. You know what I'm talking about, those little dreams that we carry in our hearts sometimes that we don't want anybody else to know about because we're afraid, well, if they knew that about me, they, they may not like me. Well, I'm suggesting, step into that. Look at that for yourself. If that's who you want to be inside, take a chance on you. You're divine. You're magnificent. You're wonderful. Awaken to that. Let it awaken within you, and you might even find some really divine surprises that show up and change your whole world around you that serves you in such a grand and glorious way. Imagine that happening for a moment. And because you decided to let that part of you out, even just for a moment, everything began to shift. Now imagine that for a moment, one step further here, that everyone on the planet was beginning to do that for themselves. Imagine now that everybody in your presence and around you are all beginning to waken up and becoming what's in their heart, letting it out in such a way that it touches lives around them. And there's an inner merging of different things that create a magnificence of your soul. That's what waking up is about. Waking up to the authentic you and letting it out. And letting the world wake up as it needs to wake up because we are waking up inside. Awakening is something to be embraced and enjoyed. Yes, it's going to have some exhilaration because we're doing things we've never done before. And yet that's the edge of life. Being on that edge of experience and joy and choice and waking up to who we really are. Being authentic and real with ourselves at every moment. Trust in you beyond measure because you deserve it. Any more miraculous. So join me as I close here in just a moment to have a choice within your heart, not just your mind, but in your heart that is time to awaken. Awaken from the everyday routines that we have drudgery in and awaken to our soul and let it grow and evolve and touch lives around us and let it touch us as well. So join me in awakening. Let's wake up and show the world how glorious it really is.